got me a bad, yeah, I need a lad, yeah, we bout to turn up Hottest shit in the city, I'm who fucking with it, yeah, we bout to burn up Wanna show a feature, we sell out the bitches, so please get your funds up We bout to up one, yeah, that's what you call a come up Yo, 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 we back at it again, episode number two Got my homegirl, Candice, in the building You know what I'm saying, the one management she gonna talk to y'all there about what she got going on and what she doing for the year and all the futures. So, you don't mind introducing yourself today yes. and tell them what you got going on? Hello everyone who doesn't know me. Um, this, I'm Candice, um, you know, over the wine management, um, owner of Eye Candy Fashion and um, Beauty, which is relaunching soon. And I also teach business credit classes. So definitely y'all make sure if y'all don't follow me now, go ahead and follow me on all my social media, Candice the One, Candice with a K T H E O N E. Um, you can also follow my management page, The One Management um, 09 on Instagram. And you can also like the page on Facebook as well. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I see you got a lot going on. Oh, you got yeah. what's about three businesses going on? Yeah, I got I got my hands in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so the queen of our trade. Yeah, yeah <laughs> really. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with the one management. I know you you got that going on. Yeah. Um, I know you got some artists that you are uh, looking to put on the team. You looking for. Let's talk about that today. So what you got going on with that? Um, right now, um, with the well, I'm really just now putting myself out there okay. as being an artist manager. Um, so right now I'm just really still trying to make connections. Okay. Um, before I can, you know, you know, really put an artist on the scene. Really, I'm not looking for an artist. Um, I'm just waiting to, you know, connect with yeah, that right okay. one. You know, um, like they say, if you go looking for something, yeah, you'll never you'll really find, find it. it. Yeah. So just whenever, you know, I get that vibe from an artist or whatever, then, you know, I'll be willing to put them on the team. But for right now, you know, I'm still just trying to put myself out there as a manager because everyone know, who knows me know me as, um, like for my business, Eye Candy Fashion and Beauty, which I launched back in 2018. Okay. So everybody know me for that right now. So I'm just trying to really get myself out there as the new artist manager now. All right. So with that, like what type of artist are you looking for? Um, um, I'm looking for a singer. I'm looking for um, a versatile R&B, pop um, singer, male or female that can dance. Um, that's really what I'm looking for. Okay. So this somebody that's, is it, is it more so like age number you looking for, or is it more so this somebody that's got talent? Um, right now, yeah, it definitely has to be old enough age for okay. me right now. So, you know? so no, no young, no, 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 you no young at 21. <laughs> when you work with someone younger, you have to deal with like their parents and all yeah. that. I don't, I don't think I'm ready for that yeah. right now. So, so yeah. basically, they got to be 21 and up. Yeah, so they, yeah they really do. They yeah. really do. Okay. So, so um, if it was like a like a male artist, what are you more so like a... Are you looking like for you say well for basically the dance and all that right so somebody that can dance like chris brown definitely definitely like a chris brown um so and then not just r&b like r&b yeah you know definitely r&b but now like when you turn on the radio you hear more genres now yeah. like music from like um i can't even I don't know exact, but like, I guess like Africa, like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually like a new way that's coming yeah. up. You know, a lot of, and I mean, even like with Drake last album, like a lot of that type that of dance, music, that right. dance is coming properly. You know, it's becoming like a new genre, like you said. Like, I don't even know what to call it. Right, exactly. <laughs> but that's what they plan. Yeah, that's now. what they plan. People listen to it and they, and they, they, they doing their thing with it. Right, and it's just really, I just want to bring singing back because, yeah. like, everybody has went into hip hop rapping, which is cool. Like, yeah. hip hop has come a long way, and that's hip hop is one reason why I like uh, music so much because yeah. of hip hop. But it's like, okay, let's bring back some, you yeah, know, yeah, let's yeah, bring yeah. it back. Right, yeah, right. Love too now. We're so, going too deep off the end. Right, so that's that's really what I'm looking for yeah. a singer. Okay. So basically somebody that can sing, dance, like a Beyonce or Chris Brown. So right. you heard what she said. Or oh, Sierra. Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> so if you watching this, like I said, you need to get with her ASAP. Because if you can do all that, hey, get with her, man. But you got to be of age, though. At least one. Right, right. <laughs> So okay, I was so going to say, um, like a lot of people don't know, like I'm actually well connected. Okay. Seriously. So, and that's what made me want to do it. Because when I realized, like, okay. 
I actually know a good yeah, yeah, many yeah. people. Yeah. You know, that's what made me do it. Okay. So. So when you say you got like a lot of connects, like what are some things that people, they come to you, like they got, what kind of resources would they have? Oh man, I know, man, I know DJs. I know uh, videographers, real like popular videographers that done did videos for a lot of mainstream artists. Um, I know like club owners. I, I just know, okay. I know a lot of people. So basically, so, I'll connect to they, they, they be able to do whatever. Right, radio hosts, um, just like uh, people with their own networks for TV. Like I just know, like yeah. it's so crazy because like I don't even know how I even start knowing these people. Yeah, yeah, like because yeah. I just be everywhere doing different things yeah. and this thing, you know, and networking. Like I yeah. said, I love the network. So next thing you know. I know this and that. I'm like, dang, I yeah. really do know. Like, yeah, you know, there's a lot of times you probably going out meeting people. You're not going out to have a good time. You're actually going out to make some business moves. Exactly. So it's like when you leave out, you leave out with a with some with a number or some type of information that's gonna be right. helpful to you. Right. Okay. So, yeah. That's good then. So what are your your after you get an artist? What are your your plans as far as I know you want to go far with it, but like what what direction are you looking to go with it once you do get an artist? Um, once I do get an artist, I want to definitely, before I just put them out there, yeah. I want to definitely make sure, like, you know, they, like, especially with singing, make sure, like, uh, is your voice, you know, voice lessons. Um, I really want a dancer, someone that can dance. So, look, I know choreographers. Let's get you with a choreographer. Um, I feel like, you know, these days, artists, social media, is big so yeah. we got to make sure that social media is together yeah yeah um you know it's a lot of you know different things that i want to make sure our artists have intact before i just put them out there okay. so when i do find an artist we're gonna really do a lot of behind the scene things before like i really like get them into the studio and you know try to get them to do shows or anything it's a yeah. lot of other things you have to make sure yeah. it's together before you know you put them out there yeah. so just developing. Okay. So, yeah. So, what type of advice do you have for somebody that's trying to get into the game? I know you're still going with it, but what is, I guess, going through it, what are some things that you see that works for you that kind of helps you keep going every day with it? Right. My advice for a lot of artists, especially for me to want to work with an artist, is even if you don't have anyone helping, like a manager or anything, still do what you can do. Like, still, you still put in that work. I know some artists, um, they still like put their music on major platforms. Like, I want to see stuff like that. I want to see that you're um, still like putting your music on major platforms. You're, st you're doing music videos. Yeah. You know, I want to see that. I want to see a little bit of work that you've done before you even got to me. Okay. So I can know that, yeah. you know, you, you are willing to work. Okay. So just keep doing what you can so you, somebody can notice you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about, like, you doing your work so you can be noticed. Okay. So, so they're going to have to be laying that groundwork for they get to Right, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I don't want to work with nobody. Like You got to tell them what to do all the time. Exactly. I'm already going to have to <laughs> be doing a lot anyway. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? For you, so you can get that even more publicity. Yeah. So I, I at least want to see that you've tried on yeah. your own, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, so if you out there, come with some work ethic, because if you're going to work ethic, she's going to make sure you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know I saying? sure will. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm an artist, you like, what are some things that you, you know, of yourself that's like, look, you know what I'm saying, kind of death row records, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what are some things that make you feel like an artist would want to come to you where it's like, if I'm looking at the sign with you, like, what are some things you can be like, look, hey. Yeah, I think like, and even right now with me, like, you know, um, connecting with people, networking with people, and promoting, yeah. Um, yeah, promoting myself as a manager now, I think like people will see like, dang, she, she doing her work yeah, yeah. before she even yeah. have an artist. Yeah. So people will know like, yeah, she, she know what she doing. She know people like, yeah, she'll, she'll be ready to work. Yeah. Cause I'm already working. I don't yeah. even have an artist. Cause I be seeing you, I be like, well, you got ain't doing your thing. And yeah. Like, I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you got somebody, but you like, nah, I'm still looking for somebody. So I'm like, okay, so you being transparent to what you like, I'm working, 
But I'm still these in my, you know what I'm saying? I'm but, looking to get them connections. Yeah. So when I do get an artist, it's like, yeah. okay, I can go back to my connections. Yeah. I don't really yeah. be like, look, I got an artist now. Yeah. Like, what's up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can out there and blow up like you need to. Right, right, that's right. That's what's up, man. I guess that's what everybody, like, everybody don't see. Um, they just see the, the glory of it. They don't get to see the... The days where it's like, man, you promote on your on your Facebook, you know what I mean? You trying to get out there, put the artists out there, right. going to all these meetings, staying out, going to these shows, traveling city to city. Like they don't get to see that. They just get to see when you blow up and what right. you got going on. So right. if you're out there, you listening, keep with my girl Candice, man, the one management. She trying to get y'all out there, man. She doing the groundwork. So whoever it is out there, come and holler at her, man. Yeah. All right, so I know you got the eye candy fashion and beauty that you was talking about also. So let's talk about that for a second. So what's going on with that? Uh, eye candy, that's my uh, first, very first business. Um, I had lunch. Well, it was actually Mink Saras when I first launched it um, in 2018, which is going to be my four year anniversary. Mm. Um, but now I changed it to eye candy. Um, when I started uh, selling lashes, um, clothes, shoes, and I do individual lashes too. Okay. So all that is um, um, wrapped up into that. Right now, I'm not really doing anything with eye candy um, the past three years I have, but I stopped when I um, heard about business credit. Yeah. And I wanted to learn more about business yeah. credit. So I stopped with eye candy, but eye candy will be relaunching soon because you know I got my business credit, everything down pat. So. So with the business credit, like I know that's a popular thing people are uh, getting into. So let's can we talk about that for a second. You mind talking yeah, about? Um, so. yeah, business credit. Uh, when I first heard about it um, and I tapped into it, I was like, wow, like I should have been <clears throat> knew about this. Yeah. Um, business credit is basically like, you know, um, something that can help your bit fund your business um, in a lot of different ways. Um, instead of you using your social your own social to um, get business loans. You can use your business EIN number or DNB number. Um, and you can really, like once you start establishing business credit, you can really use your EIN number for a lot of things like uh, business credit cards, um, uh, like a business suite. You know, like if you wanna <clears throat> have a, a like a boutique or a suite where you do like your um, yeah. hair or whatever, you yeah. can use your EIN number for that. Um, or a business car, like it's just so many things you can use your EIN number with when, once you start establishing your business yeah. credit. So that's why I'm like, man, like I feel like it, anybody who have a business should know about Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. And I feel like it's, it's actually becoming popular because the term business credit is becoming top, uh, popular now. So. Like what I know, you say you have to have an EIN and a DNB. What's the difference between it as far as like what the EIN or a DNB is? You got to have both of them, or just you have to have both of them. You have to have um, both of them because your DNB. Okay, so um, with business credit, it's just like personal credit almost. Um, it's it, it would still report to three um, credit bureaus, which we have um, the Experience Small Business, the Equifax Small Business, and the. Um, um, Dan and Brad, uh, Brad, uh, Dan and Brad Street, which is DNB. Yeah. That's <clears throat> that DNB number will mostly report to the um, Dan and Brad Street. Okay. Um. So yeah, you will need both of them. So on the on the I don't know, the Apple Fat Small Business and the, you said Experience Small Business. Mm -hmm. Like how do those, how do you start reporting for those? Like, do you have to have DNB too? Because I know you got the DNB. The done is that's done as a bachelor. You know, mm -hmm. That's basically how you can build your business credit, right? Mm -hmm. But is it going to report to those, or mm -hmm. it reports to just the yeah? Dunn's? It re it reports to all three of them. So what you would have to do is um, to start establishing is you have to get a net thirty account. Okay. Um, net thirty accounts. Um, it's actually like different companies where you can <clears throat> actually buy like products like you line you line granger okay. yeah the granger that's right up the road yeah. yeah so um you you know you get those net 30 accounts you kind of pay on it okay. um some of the net 30 accounts you have to already have business credit established so you just really got to look and see like which one like you can start fresh at okay. um um also like shell gas card um, you know, with gas as high as it is, y'all can 
get a gas car and put your EIN number on there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, build your business credit with that. But it's a lot of different ways you can start building. And um, you actually, I don't know off the top of my head, um, but each net 30 account report to the different uh, bureaus. Okay. But yeah, it's it's just like personal credit. Like just imagine having good personal credit and good business credit. Like you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Like you can walk in the paint. Um, Without, like I said, without even using your social, get a business loan with your with your EIN, and depending on what bank and the relationship you have with that bank, it it'll be like smooth sailing. It'll be like no problem. Walk in there and walk out. I think I'm gonna hold seriously, no seriously, I've done it. I've Man. done it. Like I took, like last year was like the last time I did anything with eye candy. So when I was, started hearing about business credit, I'm like, okay, let me, you know, look into it, take a little break, because the thing about eye candy was, the reason why I couldn't really be consistent was because I had to take money out of my own pocket to yeah. fund fund the business. So I'm like, okay, let me check out this business credit, see what this talking about. So um, I actually started with Uline. I started building my um, credit with Uline. And then just from there, I got the gas car, um, it, like I got another uh, business card with Chase and Leo you can get credit cards all that like it's, it's the same as personal credit mm -hmm. like seriously but it's just your business okay so yeah okay so dang so it basically with that you start building it up you good you, you got, good you got to to manage yourself it's and it's just like with your personal credit you do not want to mess your business credit up because just like your personal credit you won't be able to get nothing yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, you want to get it you want to keep it yeah so yeah. it's you know it's all the same it's just like i said for your business okay that's dope man well i, I don't learn a good bit uh, <laughs> in about five minutes yeah, yeah that was a, that was a lot of teaching you drop. yeah and i um i taught a class yesterday so i do teach business credit classes okay. Um, Get them folks info down there. Let them know what's going my on. My social got. media, Candice the one. You know, every now and then I might pop out and say, you know, I'm gonna do a class. I might do another one soon. So okay. definitely, just follow my social media okay. and stay tuned. Stay in touch. Follow her. Stay tuned because <laughs> she got some knowledge for y'all. And if you're an artist, you need to get on on both sides. You need to get in on the, on the artist management. And you need to get on the business credit because you're gonna need that too as an artist. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Definitely holler at my girl Candace. I ain't gonna hold you up too much longer. Um, if you don't mind, before we get up out of here, can you drop a minute of motivation for the people? Just give the people some motivation, what they might need. Might be somebody out there that might need to hear this, just trying to do the artist management or somebody that need credit help, you know, but just give them some motivation for them. Yeah, just um, my thing that I tell people all the time, just do whatever it is you wanna do. Don't let what nobody have to say stop you what nobody thinks stop you just do it it could be something that you know you'll never think in a million years you'll be able to do but as long as you work at it um you'll be able to do it so just do whatever it is you want to if you're trying to um start a business or if you're trying to be in the music industry whatever it is um for me networking is key stay in the mix um stay on the scene network you got to put in the footwork yeah um internet social media yeah it's great for you know promoting networking or whatever but you still yourself as your brand still have to put in that footwork and get your face out there and get yourself out there so network keep going and no matter how long it takes just keep doing whatever it is you want to do i heard it man <laughs> Social media is good, but get on that ground mm -hmm. with your feet, man. Get it working, cause you gotta put it in. You gotta put it in. And uh, you said social media, where they can find you at? Candice the one. Candice with a K, T H E O N E, the one. Um, my management page um, on Instagram, the one management 09, and the one management on Instagram, um, the business page, I Candy Fashion and Beauty uh, on Instagram and uh, Facebook. Um, let me see. That's it. That's it for that's right it. now. That's it right now. <laughs> hey, y'all know y'all can find me at. You can find me on Come Up Radio Station on Facebook and Instagram. Keeping it real on the Come Up on Instagram and Facebook. And also 
follow me, Mel Lloyd, on Facebook. And also, man, get with the team, man. We got the merch for y'all now. Y'all see the shirts? Come and cop one. Follow us on Come Up Radio Station. Follow the link, man, and get you one. Peace. It, it's the come up, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I need a lad, yeah, we about to turn up. How the shit in the city, I'm who fucking with it, yeah, we about to burn up. Wanna show a feature, we sell out the bitches, so please get your funds up. We about to up one, yeah.